Last week, we saw Happy Cardigan and Caroline Hall trapped in a lonely house by agents of a mysterious criminal who calls himself The Voice. Cardigan has his last dollar in a do-or-die attempt to drill an oil well, in spite of warnings and attacks from a mysterious band of horsemen known as the Vanishing Legion. He has reason to suspect that Caroline Hall is secretly in league with the Legion and cannot understand why the whispering voice has ordered her to be captured. I know why this gang is out to get me. Why are they after you? There's no time to talk now. I'll try and phone the sheriff while you stand them off. You can't get to the phone. The men are downstairs. There's an extension up here. That's the deadline. We've got to get them from behind. The sheriff will be here on the run. Sheriff's just let out with a posse, hightailing it to Hornbeck's house. Okay, Shorty, I'll attend to it. Great news, boss. We got Williams. Williams? Where? Boulder Canyon. Fine. But wait, the sheriff's on his way over to Hornbeck's. Right over there and tell him you've come to turn Williams over to the law. Well, you don't mean uh, after all we've been through to find Williams, you're going to let him hang? Can't you see, you fool? If Williams knows he's going to hang, and one word from me will save him, he'll talk. Now, you beat it and let me do the thinking. Oh, we stay away all night. We've got him. Safe. Did those ruffians get Miss Hall? No, she's safe. Which way did they go? You mustn't try to follow them. The men who were guarding me said the voice had sent you to death. Oh, I'm still alive and... Just in time, Sheriff. They can't have gone far. Outside, boys. Pick up that trail. Get him away. A big 
peculiar whispering voice warned them that you were coming. Voice? You mean someone phoned them? The voice came over a pocket radio that one of my guards took out of his pocket. Radio? You mean like this one? No, no. A pocket radio, no bigger than a cigarette case. Ah, nonsense. There ain't no such thing. I assure you that I heard it, and the voice came over it. Uh, Sheriff, here's one of those radios. Where'd you get this? I found it on the landing upstairs. One of the gangsters must have dropped it. Well, I'm looking at it, but I don't believe it. That's the signal that it's going to talk. The voice speaking. One of our pocket radios has been lost. Don't let it. What are you doing here at this hour of the night? I came here to see Mr. Hornback. What's your business with him? Come on, speak up. Speak up. Rich! Stop it, Rich! Oh, Rex. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. It's all right now. You thought you were going to hurt me. You're going in the house with me. And if that chill horse starts anything, I'll pug him. Oh, please don't. I'll go. You stay here, Rex. Come on. Kid wants to see you, Hornbeck. What did you want to see me about, Sonny? This will explain, sir. Can I see you in private, mister? Wait a minute. You're William's kid. Where's your father hiding? I'm William's attorney, Sheriff. And I'd rather you wouldn't question this boy. Williams is an accused murderer, and it's against the law to shield him. You ought to know that, Hornbeck. Come on, tell me where your father is. I'll tell you where Williams is. He's not hiding anymore, because Bill Peters and I captured him. Where is he now? He's in Boulder Canyon. Boulder Canyon? Can't get up there with my car. We'll have to get the horses. Come on. I don't understand this, Sonny. Did you know that your father was captured? Sure, but he isn't captured anymore. Me and Rex saved him. But how did you? I'll tell you later. I gotta go now and cover Dad's trail. Kid! Trying to save that killer! Don't shoot! 
You might hit the kid. Find your horses quick. Don't let him get away. Scatter out and run him down. we got to do is rebuild our camp. I'm glad I wasn't sleeping on under any of that canvas. Who's your friend, Jimmy? Get that boy off the stallion so I can shoot. Keep out of this, Cardigan. There's been a murder committed, and Williams and the boy did it. This kid knows all about it, and I'm taking him to jail as an accessory to the crime. Oh. You can't get away with that, Sheriff. Don't worry, kid. I'll telephone Mr. Hornbeck. He'll see you get a square deal. Go on, Sonny. Come on. You can't scare me with any habeas corpus proceeding, Mr. Hornbeck. This is a murder case. Yes, murder by a horse. But no jury would say this boy had anything to do with it. Well, we'll soon find out. Here comes the coroner's report now. Uh, it was the horse, all right. Quite so, Sheriff. But what horse? Why, the wild horse, of course. Uh, I suppose you aim to capture Rex and fingerprint him. You win. I suppose I would have kind of a hard time making out a case against this boy. Don't you let me catch you obstructing the law again, or I'll clap you in jail. Yes, sir. Come on, Sonny. Train that boy. He'll lead us to his father. Have you any idea where your father is? Dad's gone from where I left him last night. And I don't know where he is. Gosh, I'm worried, Mr. Hornbeck. He'll try to get in touch with you. Maybe he'll write you a letter. The minute you hear anything, you must let me know at once. Thanks for asking me to live at your house. But Mr. Cardigan and me are working again. And we're going to solve this mystery. So I've got to stay at the oil field with him. Okay, Jimmy. But keep in touch with me if you want anything. You bet I will. Bye, Mr. Hornbeck. Goodbye, Jimmy. Come again soon. Here's a letter, I guess, from Mr. Hornbeck. Why, it's for you. For 
for me. Jimmy, say, I got a letter here for you, from your father, I think. Well, I just got one here. Yes? Okay, I'll be right down. Goodbye. Bye, Miss Hall. Goodbye. Tell you if the voice hadn't interfered at Hornbeck's house, it would have been Cardigan's finish. You'll get another crack at him soon. The voice never fails. Cardigan right now. Sit down. Say, Henry, you know these delays have got my bankroll in pretty bad shape. How soon you figure on getting spotted in, partner? Oh, in about a week or so, I presume. You know, we're doing all we can here. We've had a lot of trouble so far. Yeah, I know. I suppose losing those trucks that you back a lot, but... Somebody very near got killed. Look up in the dairy. Jim? Hey! What's happened up there? Looks like right here you were, sir. You better come on out. Over here, sir. Give me that letter from William. Okay. 